Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkoviak. Today we're going to talk about this beast right here. This is the Vacmaster Pro 380. And I also mentioned it is very similar to the Pro 350. The 350 is just a little bit uh, narrower in design. It'll, the 350 will still do 11 and a half inch bags. Uh, this is the extended one, so you can do 16 inch bags and stuff on there. But um, both of them are absolutely phenomenal. I will have a link down below for you for them. Uh, but if you're like me and you process your own meat, which as you can see back here, I'm getting ready to do. We got a bunch of burger we're gonna do. Uh, I got a couple of roasts here. I got steaks in that bowl. Um, processing a deer here, and uh, but this vac. Backmaster Pro 380 or 350 model is incredible. It's built to last a lifetime, very durable. Um, we've been processing our own deer for the last 20 years, and uh, you know, even when I was just, even at the times when I was killing one and two deer a year. Um, when you're going through that, you are going through a food saver every year, year and a half. They just don't have the longevity. They don't last as long. Um, they're good, don't get me wrong. Food savers are good, but they just don't have the long, they're the lifespan when it comes to doing a lot of, a lot of uh, vacuum sealing, a lot of packing, and a lot of processing. So um, after going through four or five of them things, I realized it was time to upgrade to something better. The cost on these is not very expensive, uh, especially when you figure that they'll last you almost a lifetime. I mean, the, the durability and longevity of these things and quality is incredible. The fan cooling, stainless steel construction, um, just everything about it is awesome. And then uh, the wearable components are easily replaced and uh, easily found. So uh, it makes a great system. Um, and uh, we, you know, we do we do somewhere between eight and ten deer a year. Plus, we use them for a lot of other things. So, uh, when you're using one that much, it's something like this is is this is the in my opinion about the best you can do short of getting into a uh, a chamber sealer, which I'm not ready to spend that kind of money on yet. Um, this this works good as good as I need it to do. Chamber sealers are the big can, big huge ones where they you drop them in there and they chamber seal them, and uh, they're they're quite expensive. You know, more than three times the cost to one of these expensive but this here like I said will do everything you need as far as vacuum packing um, and what's really nice about it is the setup and design on it as well too again it's got a it's fan cooled um, which you can see right on there it's got the fan built in on the side this thing is built super high quality this thing is an absolute beast of a machine again the 350 being a little narrower in size but still accommodating these bags so um, the 350 is probably a better deal um, if money wise uh, the 380, like I said, I got. I, I, I like it because occasionally we do bigger things and I do have the bigger bags uh, to run that. But <clears throat> power cord, sweet, simple. Does have its own bag feeder and cutoff. So if you take this right here, you open this up. Huge compartment in here right here. This will allow you to be able to fit your bags and store your power cord and everything in there as you want to. Uh, for like right now, we're going to do a couple of rows. You just set your bag in there. Pull it out of there where you want it. Close this up. Put the cutter there. Uh, so let's say I want a bag that big, for example. I just run the cutter across there and it makes a bag that big. Now to seal this thing, it's it's pretty incredible the setups on it. So uh, you turn it on and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a sealer strip on here and do this upside down, but we're just gonna seal the end of this bag. Make sure I keep it in there, I'm upside down. Like that, and then I'm gonna press on it and I'm gonna hit seal. <clears throat> right now that is sealing the end of that bag and closing it off and making an actual bag out of it. So there it is. And then you lift that up and that is perfectly sealed all the way across right there. So now that is an actual bag. So I take that bag, I'll grab one of my roasts, and I'll put a roast in there. Oh, look at that. Nice, nice. So I'll put that roast in there that way, like that. Take this. We do the same exact thing again, but this time we're going to actually hit the power to suck to, to seal the uh, space out of there. So I'm going to feed it right inside that vacuum chamber, just like that. Press down on there. I'm going to hit start. She's so going to suck the air right out of there. Now you see I used a quite a big bag, more bag than I needed for that, but you can see it sucking that right up and sealing it. Because I used so much bag. Now it's actually sealing it. It's actually sealing that in. Done. It'll beep. Let you know when it's finished. There it is. And that is a vacuum packed roast right there. Perfect, good, set, and ready to go. So it's a great system. Works flawless. Does everything you want it to. Again, when you want another bag, the bag sits right here. You just grab and pull the bag out to whatever size bag you want. I probably don't need that big of a bag again, so I go right there. 
cut the bag off, put it in there, seal it, set it right on a seal strip. Did I get it on there right? Hang on. Again, trick you're doing upside down, hit seal. <coughs> There's a sealed bag right there. It's got the seal on the end. Take it. I'll put this little roast in there. Put that little roast in. Set it right inside the vacuum chamber part. Close her up. Hit start. And then it's sealing. And then it's done. It'll beep and tell you when it's finished. And there it is. Another roast, all sealed, done, all set, finished, and ready to roll. So uh, that's the Vac Master. This is that Pro 380. Uh, you can get the, uh, and it's very, got a bunch of different settings on here for wet stuff, for things like that. You got different levels and outputs, seal times, all kinds of things you can do for it. It's got accessories for canning and for all kinds of stuff. It's just a very, very powerful, very uh, high quality. It, it's, it's, it's a commercial grade food saver sealer is what it is now the beauty is uh, this will use any bags you want as well too so you have uh, the option as you see we're using these bigger bags in here right now these bigger diameter bags uh, you can use the smaller size bags you can buy them as any generic bag you want you don't have to use food saver brand or any specific brand anything you want to do is completely fine to be able to use in this it's very versatile in that like I said sweet simple setup it's um, it is by far the best food saver that I've used. Now, we're on our, uh, this is coming into our fourth, third or fourth year, third year, I think, third or fourth year of using this thing. And again, we're doing eight and 10 deer a year. Give you an example, we'll go through, we'll go through two more of these double roll sets a year um, with how much stuff we're sealing in this. And like I said, you try doing that with a food saver, most of the ones we've had, you'll burn one out. This thing here, this is a beast. This is a tank. Uh, you buy it once and it will last you basically, I, I would imagine for most people this would last pretty much a lifetime without any problems. Maybe a, a change in a plastic wear bar or a seal strip, but again, very cheap, easy to get, and very easy to do. So uh, VacMaster Pro 380 or VacMaster Pro 350, 350 being a little shorter, still doing these sizes. If I were to buy it again, I don't know if I'd go the 350 or the 380. We have the 380. Occasionally, it's nice to have that uh, much wider, bigger uh, seal, you know, vacuum area in there to be able to use those uh, those oversized bags that are that big. Kind of nice at times. So, um, but both of them are absolutely incredible. You cannot go wrong. For most people, and most of what you're doing, the 350 would work flawlessly. Um, this is the 380 size, but you cannot. In my opinion, it, this is the the best highest level step you can go without getting into a chamber sealer and a chamber sealers are great like i said but they're they're not for everybody and uh, uh they're more expensive more expensive to use and, and uh, you know they're a great thing but as far as a food saver type setup a food sealer vacuum pack sealer this one in my opinion absolute best you can do thanks for watching and uh we'll be back with more stuff soon we'll talk to you later all right links down below in the description uh for you on both of these and i will also put links down there on these bags as well so you can find that stuff because uh, uh there's really good deals out there on here uh, for these you don't have to buy them into stores there's better deals online and i will have those links down there for you below as well too thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon bye